Disturbing testimony today from a child. He described living inside the Cedro Woolley home of his adoptive parents who are on trial for the abuse and death of his sister, Hannah Williams. Como Force Michelle Esteban is live at the Skagit County Courthouse. Michelle? Well, Dan, as you know, we have seen plenty of court documents that allege this abuse. But today, we heard from a 12-year-old boy. Very compelling testimony. He said that both he and his sister were victims. He described repeated beatings and even being punished with a water hose. Hannah Williams' 12-year-old brother didn't hold back. Now, did you have some problems while you were living in the Williams house? Oh, yeah, it was the worst. To protect his identity, we won't show his face. Through two interpreters, Emmanuel, who is deaf, described a house of horrors. They would beat me very hard. Hannah died in May of 2011. Prosecutors accuse her adoptive parents, Larry and Carrie Williams, of starving, beating, neglecting, and locking Hannah in a dark closet. The day she died, they allege she was banished to the backyard on a 40-degree rainy day. She was found with inadequate clothing and unconscious in the mud. Her mother told a 911 operator she thought Hannah killed herself. I think my daughter killed herself. Prosecutors accused the Williams of death by neglect. It was the same for my sister. The father would use a, a knife stick, a beating stick to beat us. And Emmanuel testified the beatings got worse with time. He told the jurors his parents often punished them outside with a water hose. If we went to bed or you know, we need to bed or something, they would use the water hose all over us, then spare bodies. He said he wasn't allowed to use the bathroom without an escort and that no part of his body was immune to beatings. They would hit me on the bottom of my feet and around the toes as well. They would just hit really hard. He said he witnessed Hannah's beatings and described her as, quote, sad and unhappy. When asked what happened to her? I don't know. She's disappeared. When he was asked if she's alive, he went on to say he didn't know, but that he thinks that she is dead. Now, at one point today, the defense asked for a mistrial. It was denied. That came up because at one point, that young boy described how his adoptive father touched his private parts, but the judge instructed the jury to disregard that and to strike it from the record. The prosecutor said that she believed that he was referring to when the parents would check to see whether or not he wet his pants. That's what they believe. And so there was nothing more sinister apparently there. Reporting live, I'm Michelle Esteban, Como 4 News.